In 1972, the year I was born, President Richard Nixon became the first American president to set foot on Chinese soil. He said the postscript of his visit is best summed with the plaque that was left by the first man on the moon. We came in peace for all mankind. Now, 40 years after that historic visit, I'm about to embark on a visit to China as a speaker on behalf of the United States of America with the same postscript and a new dream, a dream of uniting the digital world to create a better future through innovation. I really didn't know anything about the U.S. speaker program till I received a call one day from the Department of State. The interesting thing is I was used as the face of the future in a mural that's dedicated to women in the military. And weeks before the call uh, from the uh, Department of State, I had seen uh, Senator Hillary Clinton in a photo hold in the mural. So at first I thought, well, maybe it has something to do with that mural because there'd been talk about turning that mural into a stamp. Uh, the mural is the equivalent of the Iwo Jima Memorial for Women. So I called back, uh, spoke to this really amazing lady at the Department of State, um, and I've been part of the speaker program ever since. I've spoken to people of all ages and all walks of life all over the world including countries such as Pakistan. I really enjoyed speaking to uh, the women entrepreneurs over there, spoken to South Africa, Russia, Ukraine, and the list goes on. Lots and lots of uh, speaking at different places. This says uh, innovation and entrepreneurship. Yeah. And it has me as the guest speaker. Thank you so much, okay. Shishia. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> and now we are going to China. Going to China. We're going to China. Gaijing, Gaijing, Gaijing. So we're going to China. You get to experience China intimately as we enter into the in a sanctum of places, uh, even no camera allowed areas. Right here, we are actually at the fourth gate in the Forbidden City. Meet Chinese entrepreneurs, meet with the government, meet with NGOs, top universities, religious leaders, business leaders. <laughs> And we come bearing good news. I believe I have been successful because I am a lifelong learner. I'm always in someone's classroom, always seeking great people to learn from. Mentors have been my livelihood. Uh, this is the famous sentence from Mrs. Marysville. We'll cry, we'll laugh. <laughs> we'll have some intense moments of hard conversations. Google, we cannot use it. Do you have any suggestion about this situation like, like in China? And most of all, we get to inspire people in a life-changing way. It blew my mind. <laughs> inspiring. I don't know if I've ever heard a crowd that quiet yeah, for that long. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. you, you kept everybody oh, spellbound. Thank you. So. I always think about some crazy ideas about. Yeah, really crazy. Yeah, I, I don't and know. those crazy yeah. ideas, yeah. That, you know, yeah, really it fascinated me.
do you think there, there's some new kind of requirement for the teachers of this age of innovation? So I'm now getting ready to be briefed on my schedule. It is hectic with a capital H. I will be visiting and speaking at over 20 different places in the next 14 days. Are you ready? Let's go.